Hello, Young Math Padawan. This is Mrs. Angel with your lesson for today on inequalities. What do they mean? We spent a lot of time solving equations. It's now time to look at statements where two sides are no longer equal or equivalent in value. One side is either going to be greater than or less than the other side now. But what do those words actually mean? Before we can talk about things like graphing and writing and solving inequalities, I'm pretty sure we need to know what that actually means. Greater than, less than, equal to, I don't know. So grab a piece of paper to follow along with today's notes and let's get started. So a lot of you know that these are the symbols for greater than and greater than or equal to, and these are the symbols for less than and less than or equal to. But what do these phrases greater versus less than actually mean? A lot of us think it has to do with the size of a number. But greater and larger are not the same. Neither are less and smaller. Let me give you an example here. 10 and negative 10 are the exact same size. So I couldn't say that 10 is larger than negative 10, just as I couldn't say that negative 10 is smaller. However, I could say that 10 is greater and negative 10 is less. Those are appropriate ways to describe the relationship among these two, but when it comes to size, they're the same amount. This would be like having $10, this would be like owing $10. It's the same amount of money. So then what does greater and less than actually mean? Well, greater than has to do with the placement of numbers on a number line. Greater than means to be more positive or to have more positive value. So what does that look like on a number line? Well, as we move from left to right on a number line, our numbers become more positive because they're approaching the greatest possible number, which is positive infinity. That's the greatest possible number that we can conceptualize. So another way to think of greater than also could be to the right on a number line. So let's look at a few examples. What if I wanted to investigate the relationship between three and nine? So on a number line, three would be about here and nine would be about there. So using this definition, which one is more positive, three or nine? Well, nine would be more positive because it's to the right of three on the number line. So this is how we would write this relationship. We would say that nine is greater than three because it's more positive, it's to the right, and it's closer to positive infinity. But what about the negative side of things? What if we looked at negative three and negative nine? A lot of you might say, well, again, nine's the bigger number, so negative nine must be greater. But careful, let's look at them placed on a number line. Negative three would be about here, negative nine right about there. According to this definition of greater, greater than means more positive to the right of and closer to positive infinity. So it looks to me like negative three is actually the greater value just as nine was the greater value for the same reason. It's to the right, it's more positive, and it's closer to positive infinity. So we would represent this inequality by saying that negative three is actually greater than negative nine. And negatives are always trickier because the negative side of the, of the number line is actually a reflection of the positive side. So what would appear to be greater is not actually greater. So now let's look at the definition of less than. Well, if greater than means more positive, I think it's safe to say that less than would mean the opposite of that. It would mean more negative. So less than means to be more negative or to have more negative value. Well, where are negative or more negative numbers on a number line? They're going to be to the left until you reach the most negative number that we have, which is negative infinity, the opposite of positive infinity. So we can also say less than means to the left of on a number line. So let's do some similar comparisons. How about we compare three and nine again, because we already have them placed on our number line. So according to this definition, less than means more negative to the left of and closer to negative infinity. 
Well, looking at three and nine, three is clearly the lesser number because it fits all of those requirements. It's to the left of nine, it's more negative than nine, and it's closer to negative infinity. So we can compare these two by saying that three is less than nine. What about negative three and negative nine? Again, your brain wants you to think that negative three is the lesser number because it is the smaller number. But less than has nothing to do with size. Let's look at the number line. According to our definition, less than means more negative or to the left of. So if I look at this number line, negative nine is less than negative three because it's to the left, it's more negative, and it's closer to negative infinity. So to compare these two, I would actually say that negative nine is less than negative three because it fits all of those requirements. So what does it mean to also be equal to? We mentioned that these right here are the symbols for greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Let's investigate greater than or equal to. This means that the number on the left either has to be greater than the number on the right or equal to the number on the right. It has to satisfy one or the other, but not both. For example, 10 is greater than or equal to eight because it's greater. 10 is also greater than or equal to 10 because it's equal to. So we're just adding on an additional solution here. The same could be said for less than or equal to. Either the left side has to be less than the right side or equal to the right side. So I could say that negative 10 is less than or equal to negative eight because it's less than negative eight. It's to the left of on a number line, it's more negative, it's closer to negative infinity. I could also say that negative eight is less than or equal to negative eight because it's equal. So when you bring in equal to, you're just adding on the fact that both sides could also be equal, not just greater or less than. So now that you've seen a quick recap of what these words mean, I think you're ready to try doing some examples with your teacher. So that's it for today's lesson. I will see you next time.